You guys, I don't even listen. Believe in yourself. I did, I just tweeted Popeyes. I was like, look, I've been standing. I've been a ride or die. I've been here, you know. And I just don't feel like the love is being reciprocated. See what happens when you manifest shit. I'm not even really fully sure how this happened. I just know that homegirl from my network reached out to me, and then she was like, "We doing a campaign," and then YouTube was like, "Yo." Uh, you want the spicy or the regular? And so now here we are. I manifested some biscuits. They're like, send me to Addy. We gonna bring the food through. All I know is that I see the mashed potatoes. That's top three for me. Mashed potatoes. What's we got? Ooh, that's some fish. <laughs> some some fries, okay? Cause they cause they ain't stupid. And then we got. I'm assuming more biscuits or fries, maybe. <gasps> Do they just bring one of everything on the menu? Rice and beans, I don't even know. This is, this quinoa? That's different. Don't play with me. Oh my God. And so we have family style. Believe in yourself, never take no for an answer. Reach for the stars and you gonna manifest some chicken. Uh, but in the words of little mama, uh, I'm going to an event. And I'm happy. Thank you, YouTube, full screen, Popeyes, everybody who's responsible, because I ain't do shit to deserve this other than just love Popeyes. So. It's panel day, October 6th, Sunday, is it Sunday? Sunday. I'm gonna go do this panel, and then after the panel of TD. So yeah, after the panel, um, probably have a, like a few hours to chill here, but then we gotta hop on the PJ. It's a coach uh, ticket. And uh, we got the Super Time Live show out in Florida. Because sometimes I think when we think about these projects that we have and projects that we want to do, we see the whole complete vision and then be like, how the hell are we going to do this? Sometimes I think that we want to do this. Sometimes I feel like the why I should go to school is the excuse for not knowing what to do next. Um, but even if you could go to school, get a degree, do all that, you still don't want to know what to do. It's just about figuring, and it can be literally the smallest thing. Like I'm working on um, my LLC. Literally on my to-do list is Google what LLC <laughs> is. <laughs> uh, my mental space. Today is cool. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, later. Uh, and I think like that's honestly what keeps me afloat is just allowing myself to feel, like allowing myself to be low. <laughs> Working on putting up your boundaries. In my current relationship, like I'll tell my girl, my girl, girl but I'll tell her, I'm, I'm like, listen, babe, I love you, but you know, I just need to like smoke by myself and be in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> and just be in the dark for a few hours. And she'll be like, all right, let me see you tomorrow. And then, like, 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 the people that know you and the people that love you and get you, like, they, they're not gonna make boundaries hard for you. <laughs> Panel's over. Now it is primo chill time until it's time to go. See you soon, quarter.
see you sooner, couch. Every time I come to the airport, I learn something new. There's something new that I have to pay for. There's something new that I don't get including that's included with the flight that I had bought six months ago. So, we the airport today, and they're like, oh, we no longer do carry-on bags that are beyond the size of a mechanical pencil. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Okay. I have my book bag and then I have my duffel bag. So the lady proceeds to take my book bag and smash it into my duffel bag. So now I have bag on bag. Bag in bag, baby on baby. Yep, yep. Talk to myself, ma'am. Move along. Thank you. So, basically when I get back to LA, I don't want no surprises. I don't want y'all telling me that, you know, my bags come with a two drink minimum. Look who made it! Hi! Uh, exactly. Are you vlogging? Uh, it's a vlog situation. Boom! Hi! There she blows. There I blow. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, Jay got the... I look terrible. But, Jay um... The, the short shorts on. You know, I'm just in my drawers because I was taking a nap and Ari came through and then I gotta get dressed now. Yeah. Because it's showtime. We're not prepared. We're like we are, but like nah. I think we've done more than we're giving ourselves credit for. Yes. But we're probably gonna get up there and just wing it. There's gonna be a whole lot of just winging it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I mean, that's what super time is. That Literally is, every episode is that. I never so know what's gonna happen. So it's not that it's wrong for us to do that. Exactly. I feel good about it. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so fun. It's our first live show. Hey. Putting on my rings. All right, I'm gonna wash the crumbs out my ass. I'm wet. Ours oh. wet. We got caught in the rain. We ate it here. I'm sure you like a quinoa bowl. I like quinoa bowls. Um, which makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. I don't eat my food. <laughs> look at how cute it is. Just all kinds of. We look real health conscious. I'm just trying not to take a shit on his head. This is the lesbian flag, and now you know. Having a good time, it should always be like, you go, you go. Oh, I tried to get a little angle or something. All I wanted to say is, sex is a special occasion for me, and it's something that I now always try to make sure I'm enjoying, and I'm always trying to make sure that I'm in conversation with my partners. Okay, I'm gonna just put this over here. Come through this again. Jay just got a new vlog camera, right? so she's really taking it too. Thanks. Seriously. Don't nobody steal it. Cool. <laughs> so, the sex conversation has always... I used to not like sex at all. It took me a minute to learn what my sexuality looked like beyond just how I identified. And it also took me finding someone who was open to me exploring things. So when I was very straight, and I was in college, I would always say that like, I would use, what's the fucking name? Like, I, would, I would say I was like, strictly dickly. I was like, I'm strictly dickly. You know, I agree that it was proud of that. Like, it was just like, I would wear these like cheap ass like forever 21 dresses, like I was that bitch. For a while, for a while, I was trying to get a ball player, or whatever, I did actually. I, I got all the finals. Come on, I'll start with you. I really did. Tuesday. Um, I got back from the airport this morning. Um, but we had an audition. It was good. It was cool. Deposited a check. 
boom baby but i had to just stop for a second to let y'all know that there is nothing like leaving yourself food forgetting you left yourself food and then remembering that you left yourself food i have been royally fucking up this this uh what is it called cronuts donut croissant i had to stop and pull the camera out because i was going i was going hard i was going really ham on the donut i'm home and i'm chilling i'll we'll get back to work tonight but right now i'm also losing my mind because there's the show can i get a little zoom hey okay focus oh <gasps> fucking focus oh my god type face design it's fire two thumbs up so i was definitely parked uh past the time i was allowed to be parked and then i had left for the weekend too and this is what happens when um you live in a shithole that doesn't come with parking. But your girl didn't get a parking ticket, so in the Lord's name, we rejoice. And the key of light skin Keisha. Ooh. Still can't do brand new money. Everything new. Why sell back? Why sell shoe? I'm just gonna get a uh, tall vanilla cold brew. Tall vanilla cold brew? Yeah, that's it. Alrighty. It's gonna be three quarter. Are you sure you don't want to do a little pastry with that? Like the cheese sandwich or butter croissant? No, I'm okay. It's Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I was, <laughs> I was about to tell him like, nah, like that's gonna be a lot for my stomach, and it's a little early, like it's nine o'clock. But then I figured maybe he doesn't need to know the details of my digestive system, perhaps. You know, I'm an introvert. I'm learning how to talk every day. For those of you that don't know, I take a sketch writing class and I have class. Okay. I have class tonight, but with going to Florida, filming last week and just everything else has been going on, I haven't had time to do my sketch because I basically have a sketch class and so I have to write a sketch every single week. And I hadn't gotten a chance to actually sit down and write one until this week. Well, until right now. So I just banged out a four page, you know, a little sketch. Is it my best? Probably not. But you know what? I got it done. At least I can say I, I did it. Cause I was, originally I wasn't gonna do it. I was like, you know what? People come in all the time and they only have one page done or like they have an idea but they didn't actually have anything to turn in. I'ma just do the same shit. But then I was like, nah, let me at least try. Let me at least see if I can do something. Cause this one is a character sketch and character sketches are hard for me. I don't know why they just are. Uh, the way the class works is Everyone has their sketch and everyone reads the sketch. So it's like a cold read and you pick people, you basically cast the people for your sketch uh, with the students in the class. And everybody just reads everybody's sketch. The instructor gives her feedback and then we go around the table and like give each other feedback um, on the sketches and stuff. I have to go print it, but I'm not a full adult yet. So I don't have a printer, but Amber Smiles Jones does. I'm gonna finish eating and then I'm gonna see y'all there. Should look like a um. Like a sandwich. I have training. And so I gotta go train. And I don't wanna fucking go, dog. I don't wanna go. Fuck, I don't wanna go. Um, I ain't even fat or nothing. It's just like, 
Only in some parts. And I ain't never going to fat shame any of y'all, but I fat shame myself every day. But yeah, let me go put on some fucking biker shorts or whatever so I can get my ass stomped out by myself doing squats and fuck I don't wanna go, bro. Damn. Wow. Wow. Two more for the gram. Uh, one last one. Uh. <laughs> Damn, at least you're still walking. <laughs> you just finished the first weekly vlog. Shout out to the patrons because the patrons are what help pay for the camera to even make these vlogs. So shout out to Patreon, patrons, and uh, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next one. Let me know what y'all thought of this. Leave comments and stuff, your favorite moments. Uh, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Girl.